Welcome to this week's In the Shop with Scott. I make more progress on the mini canoe and start working on a walnut charcuterie, cutting board, whatever you want to call it. Hope you enjoy the video. I started with using my small spoke shave to shape the ends of the canoe to get that graceful curve it needs. On the large canoe I did this while it was still in the station molds, but obviously not enough space to work for something this small. I'm just eyeballing what that curve needs to look like and trying to match up end to end. Last weekend I picked up this Live Edge Walnut Slab. I needed to cut it down into about 18 inch lengths. I really only needed enough to make one charcuterie board as a gift for someone that's moving, but uh, the price was right and this will give me some spares for the future. As you can see here, it's not completely flat, so I'll glue it to this piece of plywood and then shim it before I run it through the planer. With it now stable, I can run it through and flatten one side on the planer. I then remove the plywood, flip it over, and flatten the other side. Next I'll run it through the drum sander to get rid of any ridges from the planer knives, but first I need to replace the sandpaper. After doing this a couple times, it's really easy to swap this over and doesn't take but just a minute or two. With the new paper in, I can now just pass this through a couple times on each side, and it's ready to go. Now with a hand sander, I can clean up the live edges and get off the bark and sand out any rough spots. I started with an 80 grit and then jumped up to 120. I let the dust settle for a bit and then mixed up some epoxy to seal the inside of the mini canoe. I wanted to do this last for the day so that way I didn't have to smell the fumes while doing other projects. I really love how the color of this red cedar comes to life when applying the epoxy to it. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this week's projects.